Well, what is going on YouTube? Hey, welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Do me a favor before we get started on this really interesting knife, hit the subscribe button, please. I would love to have you here on a regular basis. And hit that like button if you would. It uh, helps out the channel quite a bit. Helps other people find the content. Let's me know you enjoy what I'm doing. It's good for everybody. So like button, subscribe button, you know, all the regular stuff. Let's take a look at what's on the table. This is the first modern, like modern, like last year or so, Kaiser, that I have really liked. Uh, this is the Quatch. Yeah, I didn't sneeze. That's the name. Uh, it is interesting looking. It is great to use. It is comfortable in hand. Uh, it's just a great pocket knife. That makes me very happy. I have been a Kaiser collector, at least I used to be, uh, late 17, 18, 19 ish, when they were doing a lot in uh, titanium and S35VN, they kind of got me into that kind of knife. They really did. The uh, last couple of years, they have produced a lot of sort of smaller knives in, anyway, they haven't really been my jam, but I saw one of these over on Bee's Blades and thought, hmm, that's weird. Let's take a look at it. So I got one, and I've been very, very happy with it ever since I picked it up. Uh, it's cool. It's funky, and I really like it. Um, it may not be for everyone. I recognize with this sort of straight razor, clipped off, funky blade shape, uh, it won't appeal to everyone. But I like weird knives, and this thing stood out. Before we go any further with that, let's talk about this blade shape. It is phenomenal if your job or your daily cutting is boxes or any sort of media like that. This is an absolute box destroyer. Uh, it's just really good at it. And it has more than enough tip right there. As you can see, it's very pokey uh, that you can get in and push into material. No, it's not a stabby knife, right? Uh, but boy, is it a cutter. So let's take a look at the Kaiser Quatch. Yeah, I know. That, that, whatever. That's the name. We'll go with it. What do you get? Well, you get an N690 blade running on bearings. Uh, you get, this happens to be their black micarta, but you can also get it in red micarta. It has a metal backspacer. Uh, on this one, it's kind of an orange-ish color. On the, uh, on the red one, it's yellow. Uh, Bees noted that the knife, because of the colors, looks very Iron Man, which I understand. You have a stamp steel clip, which is, it isn't great, but it doesn't suck either, and that's important because it really does hold the knife in your pocket very well. It's just not terribly interesting. Uh, you have a deployment hole as well as a flipper, and both, mine's a little tight, to be honest. Um, both work very well when you're not on camera and making a fool of yourself. Um, of course, the flipper works every time, and it snaps open with real authority. Uh, the handle shape concerned me when I first got it because I have big hands. I was afraid that it was going to be very pinched. It's coming up on, you know, if it was any tighter, it wouldn't be comfortable, but it isn't, and so it is very comfortable. And again, this thing is just a box. It is a cardboard destroying machine. I have really enjoyed cutting up all of the Christmas boxes with it. It's been very good for that. It's a liner lock. As I said, they are steel liners inset into the micarta. There is one on either side. You have plenty of good access to the lock bar there, which is very nice. Uh, mine came very well centered. Uh, the fit and finish on this thing is, well, Kaiser's never had a problem with that. And this is another excellently well, excellently well done knife. It is a well done knife. Done excellent. Ah, shit, I don't know. Anyway, look, it's a good knife. Let's get some specs out of the way. So you get, now it's funny because this is a little bit longer than the, than the cutting edge, but we're going to go ahead and go from there. You get two and three quarters of cutting on just three inches of N690 blade steel. I like N690. It is a very good blade steel. The grip area from behind the flipper tab is three and a quarter down to the end of this line. Now, you guys know I have a three and three quarter inch hand, so I can go past that line. But if you hold this thing the way it feels like it was made to be held, my fingers fall with the knuckles. They fall really nicely into that grip. The knife overall from end to end is seven and just about three quarters if you come to the end of this backspacer, which 
flares out here with a really large lanyard spot. Maybe you lanyard, maybe you don't, but they've really given you the opportunity here. As I said, the pocket clip is stamp steel. It's not terribly tight, uh, but the way that it's designed, let's get it up there so you can see it. Uh, it fits in and out of material very well, and because it's reasonably soft, although it hasn't flexed on me or anything, but even thick jeans, even though it doesn't look like it, it holds thick jeans pretty well. The uh, micarta here is milled out in a sort of pattern, which does give you some grip if you needed it, but the micarta on its own is very grippy. It's got some jimping right here where your thumb lands. Well, okay, my hands are big, so my hand actually comes a little bit forward, but if you're going to push on it this way, the jimping's in the right spot. The swell of this sort of straight razor-esque shaped blade is fantastic for pull cuts or draw cuts across the table. Hi, Cat. How are you? Stand by just a second, guys. All right, where were we? Sorry about that. I have honestly forgotten where we were, so we're just going to pick up and run. The uh, So the knife is seven and a quarter overall. You grip area. The pocket clip holds very, very well. Um, it's just a joy to use. Now, I know I covered that a bunch, but look, when a knife is this interesting looking, uh, it has to be good at what it does, and the Quatch really is. Let's do some size comparisons, just while we've got it here on the table. We'll line it up right there. Here it is against our old friend, the Rat Model 1. This, of course, is a BJ Hill modified version. As you see, the Rat 1 is considerably larger, right? Here it is against our friend, the Bug Out. Uh, these knives are actually very similar in overall length, although, of course, it's a completely different tool. The Quatch, like I said, really, really cuts well, and that is super important. I have a lot of knives that are kind of cool looking that don't really cut that well. The Quatch manages to avoid that flaw. Now, do I wish that it was hollow ground? Yeah, with this blade shape, that would be great, but because it is reasonably high up here, it comes to a very nice edge. And of course, Kaiser does a great job. What else can we compare it against? It's on the table. Here it is against the uh, Kubi 322. Now there's a full review of this coming down the pipe just a little bit later. You may actually follow this one. We'll have to see. But as you can see, the Quatch is not an enormous knife, but man, does it punch above its pay grade. It really punches out of its weight class, which is the correct phrase. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, I have not, as I said, been really that into Kaiser in the last year because I have a very particular... Th I'm, you guys know the kind of knives I like. Kaiser has been making a lot of sort of small knives. Um, not really my jam, but the Quatch here... This is a great knife. Let's see, what else can we compare it against on the table? Well, here it is against, of course, our old friend, the Presidio 2 from Benchmade. That, right, it's a big knife. It's a good mid-sized knife. It's not too big, it's not too small, it's very comfortable in hand, it's very light because of the micarta. Let's find out how light, lighter, I should say. It's got good action. It's a great pocket knife. Let's see what we come in at. 4.7 ounces for a three inch blade. You know, like I said, it's not ultra light, but it doesn't feel that heavy in hand either. Part of the weight is gonna come from this metal backspacer, which was an interesting choice. I love the action. This is a great knife. Uh, it actually is gonna rapidly become one that I recommend. If you're looking for something with a lot of style, right, good cutting power, for not too much money, I know 60 bucks is not budget, but N690 is good steel. It's going to hold an edge very well. Kaiser does a great job. I really don't think you can go wrong with this. Let's take a look at the closed length on this thing. Where do we come in at? Four, four and three quarters overall. Not bad. A little over four and three quarters because of this. This. This probably is my least favorite part of the knife, this big giant backspacer. It just isn't necessary, and I don't really lanyard. But uh, it is a style point. I'll give it to I'll give it to him for that. Close profile on this thing is a little chunky. 
including that flipper tab, we're talking about an inch and three quarters at the widest spot. You're not going to be able to share a lot of pocket with this thing and other stuff, although you could put a pen in next to it. The flipper tab is well chamfered down, so there's no sharp edges. In fact, the only sharp edge on this knife is right where you want it, right on the blade. And that's where we're going to wrap it up. This is the Kaiser Quatch. An interesting knife from the folks at Kaiser, and one that caught my attention, and I think it might catch yours too. If you're interested, I will put a link to one of the many places you can get one of these, probably Amazon, down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the Quatch or any of my knives, feel free to ask down in the comments below. We'll see you next time.